It was nearing midnight in October 2015 when the sparks from a pyrotechnic display at Bucharest's collective nightclub set the roof alight. As the fire rips through the building's flammable ceiling, hundreds of people rush for the club's only exit. 27 did not make it out alive. Another 180 were injured. Outrage over safety breaches at the club led to mass protests in Bucharest. When another 37 victims died in hospital in the weeks that followed, journalists in the country's Sports Gazette newspaper started to question how they were being treated. Their investigation found not only were hospitals ill-equipped to deal with Burns patients, but the disinfectant used in those hospitals had been diluted to save money for suppliers and health officials. That's not enough for me. The diluted chemicals created a breeding ground for deadly infections. Alexander Nano, at what stage did you understand that this was much bigger even than a fire in a discotheque in which people died? Uh, at the moment when we started to, to shadow the work of the journalists and they discovered that basically, you know, all the, the burned patients were dying in Romanian hospitals because of infections and subsequently uh, discovered through whistleblowers that a company producing disinfectants for, for the Romanian hospitals was diluting the disinfectants and basically all the political class and the circuit services were informed about this since 10 years and were basically supporting this business between hospitals and this company. Was there a major investigation? Was there a huge criminal trial or anything to follow up on this? The people from this company got, I think two people got three years, a sentence of three years uh, for diluting for 10 years disinfectants in all Romanian state hospitals. Uh, that's the maximum that, that can be achieved in the Romanian justice system. But linked to everything that happened after co the collective fire with the healthcare system and the, the corruption and the, the manipulation that, that led basically to the deaths of these people, uh, nothing has happened. Nobody's investigating for real the healthcare system or healthcare officials or doctors. And even regarding the fire, there was no sentence, basically no final sentence uh, on trial. So all victims are still waiting for the judicial system to do its work. They didn't get any reparation. But when a health system is so corrupted that a manufacturer of disinfectant can reduce the value of the disinfectant to a point at which it is worthless, does it not lead to something profound in change? It did. It did. That's, that's why basically it was one person, one whistleblower, that basically started the press investigation. And that press investigation changed the year 2016 in Romania. This company was closed down, so hundreds, if not thousands of lives were saved. And the civil society stood up and started to build hospitals, new hospitals. But that said, for example, the Minister of Health in the film that we follow is back in office since Christmas because people voted differently. Uh, and just today we have a big scandal because he uh, basically made public all data about the testing, the COVID testing and, and uh, vaccine. And he is attacked by the whole political class, including the pr prime minister, that he is not allowed to be transparent and to give the public open data that belongs to the public. And now also during the pandemic, we have exactly the same cases as you have in the UK by, you know, with buying protective equipment, uh, overpriced through shady uh, companies. It all goes on. Alexander Nano, I congratulate you on being nominated for a BAFTA. And perhaps you in much. a very real way, I have to say to you, stay safe. <laughs>